Whoa. Hello. So um, we're gonna start the game right away, and then Zeta is gonna do a brief introduction of what we're actually doing here. Yeah. Um, because the first six minutes he won't be doing anything. Yeah. Um, all right. Is everyone ready? Go. All right. Three, two, one, go. Yeah. So welcome everyone. This is uh, The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, and indeed, it is a co-op run. I know people are sort of confused how this is possible, because, well, this is a single-player game. But there is a special emulator with a special, like, settings map, I think it is, that allows us to be in the same world at the same time, share items. Uh, the things that will not be shared are consumables, like money, bombs, arrows, Hearts, magic, you name it, we won't share it. Uh, whilst Wiki is gonna go for the escape sequence, I'll be walking around here for like six minutes collecting some money. Nothing too, too special. Um, and I'll show off some of the, of the things that are in set emulator. So for example, you can see here, uh, you can set your own group name, you set your player name. You can use a color to, you know, give your character a little more spice. Okay, like I can go to the black tunic. Yeah, I think it's like a, a really, really, really neon green tunic. It's, uh, it's what we're doing. So I have. So we're doing. We, we I, show the player levels, yeah. and then there's this big connect button which connects us. And there's the advanced settings. Speaking of the advanced settings, um, you can see uh, there's a bunch of things. Normally, people use this, for example, for randomizers, but it's also usable for even in like games. So, if you are very well known with this game and your friend. It isn't that well known, but would like to try it, but not on their own. This is a good way to uh, to actually do it. Um, there is a map uh, side of this as well, where you can see how the entire game is like interconnected with each other. We won't be using that today. Um, I mean, you can show it off as well. I think I can. Can I? Yes, I can. And you can show. So basically, if you're on the same map, you can see each yeah. other. So this is the the actual overworld map, and you can see like a a color dot right where my where my cursor is. That's where Wiki is right now. This is where am I? Where I am at? If Wiki is in the like, if you're in a dungeon, you get a different map. If you're in the dark world, you get a different map. Um, and we have synced all the possible things like progress flags. Uh, the only thing we have not synced because it's a little bit of a wonky setting is the small keys. Uh, yeah, with that out of the way, uh, I can continue farming my money. Huh. Whilst Wiki is like already like halfway through the escape sequence. Uh, almost. Sort of. So in NMG, you pick up this boomerang because Don't it makes pick up the boomerang. Uh, Don't worry. <laughs> I worry. In in NMG, you pick up the boomerang uh, because it makes something slightly faster. But in uh, in hundred in Hondo, what we're doing right now, uh, you can actually get the red boomerang way easier if you don't pick it up here. Yeah. Because for those wondering, just there's like a whole lot of items. Uh, we'll be collecting 24 heart pieces, all the heart containers, every final upgrade uh, of the inventory items. So the red boomerang, the mirror shield, uh, the golden sword, the silver arrows. But some of those are actually uh, not progressive. So. We'll be getting uh, the red mail without getting the blue mail. We'll be getting the red boomerang without getting the blue boomerang. Mirror shield without getting the fire shield. And I like have that, yeah. horrible RNG on money, but speaking that's of fine. money... That's fine. Yeah, you, okay. I think so, Zelda has something to say about money. Oh. Yeah, speaking of money indeed, I have 10 euros from Lighten. Oh. Saying, hi Zeta. Hi Wiki. Nice friendship you guys got going on there. <laughs> <laughs> Would be a shame if something were to happen to it. <laughs> <laughs> Would you explain that, Zeta? Yeah, so <laughs> at the end of the run, both of us will be defeating the final boss together. Well, well, both of us will be defeating our own version of the final boss, but we'll be in the same arena. You'll, you'll be able to see uh, both of us on screen. And when that's done, you normally progress to the chamber where uh, the Triforce is uh, hidden. There is a donation incentive. If we can finish this run as friends, which means the both of us go through the door together, or as enemies, and we'll do a short PvP battle. Which it, means it, the one that wins that battle is yeah. the one that actually goes home with the Triforce, can do a wish, yada yada, the world is saved. So, apparently Lighten wants to ruin our friendship. Thanks, Lighten. Thanks, Lighten. I thought we were friends. I feel like this is a little bit gaslighting. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> <Go>. <laughs> 
Oh, Zazita, you have a sword, you know. Oh, I have a sword. Did yeah. you pick up? Did you pick up the chest? <laughs> oh no, I didn't. Yeah. Oh. Oh look! <laughs> oh look! It's another five. It's another five rupees. Nice. Go. So funny enough, um, in the in the vanilla game, there's like three chests that contain the lamp. It's the one in Zelda Cell where Wiki actually picked up the lamp. It's the one in the house, and it's the one that's like near your wounded uncle. Um, for the speed run, it's just easier to pick it up as Zelda Cell because you have to go there anyway. Should we also mention that this is not a randomizer? Oh, uh, it isn't. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, it's not a randomizer, I know. Shocking. <laughs> yeah. We are known for playing randomizers, apparently. I think, I think we got the question like 50 times, like, Oh, you're playing the randomizer, right? No. No. No, this is the actual vanilla game. Yes. So, um, and another thing that happened, because uh, it was actually Rashla who came up with this idea, like, I think a year or so ago already. Like, he, he told us, like, it would be fun to see that. This is that guy, they're right there. The, the, yeah, that <laughs> guy with the light sticks. With, with the glow stick, yeah, yeah. Um, he right he actually, like, came up with the idea. He was like, yeah, maybe it's fun to show off. And, and well, we decided, like, Dude. well, let, let's take a look into it. I think and this is my best escape so far. <laughs> sweet. Uh, let's you go. could have warned me. Uh, yeah, I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, fine. Yeah, perfect timing, I guess. Yeah, it's fine. So Yay! you see, yeah. So you see, a um, when someone get a get an item or get achieve something, you'll uh, the other player gets a notification on their screen. You yep. will see that on the bottom of the screen, and that changes the game state. It changes the inventory, stuff like that. Yeah. So I am currently on my way to the Eastern Palace, the first dungeon, the first actual dungeon of the game. Ah, uh, money, money. So uh, in the early game, it. The route is a little bit weird because progression is slow. But once we get to the dark world, there's basically not really a point in a run where we stand still and wait on each other. No. Uh, maybe maybe like one or two yeah, times. Yeah, one or two slight. times. But other than that, we tried to route this as efficient as possible. Yeah. And the sad thing about it is, uh, that is that the complete RNG fun fest is at the end. Yeah, later about that. <laughs> Later we'll tell you more about that. Yeah. So, um, th this will also be the only moment in the entire one where both Wiki and I will be in the same dungeon. Yes. There will not be another moment. Um, what I'll be doing is I'll be going to the Wiki where the Wiki is in, or the chest where the Wiki is in, and that Wiki is useful for Wiki to open the big chest, which contains the bow, so he can finish the dungeon. And perhaps I should not take damage. Ah, uh, that's a good idea. Not yeah. taking damage. Yeah. You know where the backup parts are, it's fine. Yeah, I know. Uh, okay. So, the, the interesting thing about our sure. route specifically is that I am more of an NMG runner and Zeta's more of a hunter runner. Yeah. So, um, I will be doing more of the NMG stuff and Zeta will do a lot of overworld stuff. Yeah. And uh, I see that Zelda has uh, received some more money. Is it June? <laughs> <laughs> it's not June. Okay, However, okay. <laughs> it is 10 years from Sunscale. Oh. Saying, hey, good luck with the rando. What luck that everything is in the <laughs> vanilla location so far. Yeah, I, know, I right? know, right? I'm so surprised. This is even randomized. But thank you, Sans, for the donation. Yeah. Very much appreciate it. You know, theoretically, if you play a randomizer enough times, there is a very minuscule chance there that everything will line up with their vanilla positions. Yeah. yeah, I mean, technically it can happen. Theoretically. Theoretically. <laughs> it's not going to. Nah. So, so I picked up I picked up the 100 rupees um, from Cannonball Chest, simply because I do need some money in the road, and I need to wait for the big key anyways. Oh, that was a clean damage boost. Let's go. Nice. Let's go. Let's go, that's good. Also. Oh no, oh, I no! died. Skill issue. I have a skill oh. issue. Damn it. Can't believe you died to that fight again. Yeah, wow. it's... I mean, I've oh. practiced it, but yeah. it's it's so hard. Okay. It's about as hard as finding the green guard in the cellar in a rando. <laughs> so now I quote-unquote have to wait till Wiki finishes the dungeon. And oh, oh, in the meantime, I'll just be okay, killing some, some armor's knights. Because they drop arrows, I don't have that many arrows. Arrows are useful. Uh, just for safety. So yeah, Wiki will finish the dungeon, and at the moment, Wiki picks up the pendant from the dungeon. 
Uh, I can pick up the boots. The boots will make us go fast. really fast. Yeah, we need to go fast. There's no reason for me to farm anymore, so now I'll just stand uh -huh. here at the old man and wait. No, that's bad. No, that's all right. So the, the old man is actually doing a little bit of a, a lethal company dance. <laughs> I, 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 yeah. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Our commentator <laughs> get it. Okay, let's see if I can get the quick kill this time. I have never played lethal company. <laughs> me neither. But once. Uh, that should be the quick kill. That uh, looks like a quick kill. Um, there we go. There we go. Nice. nice. That's good. The wiki uh, shot two arrows into the final guard, which uh, means he could shoot the final arrow before it turned red and gets fully healed again. Da 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 da. And now we can instant has Pegasus boots. That's good. And now there is. I think you have a couple of things to do before you need to wait for me again, yeah. right? But that's my money farm. Uh, nice bonk. Don't bonk, it's slow. Uh, yeah, that's true. So, should I not forget to pick up the bombs? Do not forget to pick up the bombs. Also, I can zoom! Zoom! So, what I did there was. Uh, Hyper speed. Uh, spin speed. Spi it, spin it, speed. It is called spin uh, speed. Spin speed. Uh, it's releasing or pressing the dash button the same moment you like let go of your spin. Uh, your game is in a weird state at that point, doesn't know what to do. Uh, you'll end up with like a really fast speed, which you'd normally have when using your bombs or boots. But you can actually steer it in this time, because in this game, if you use the boots, you can only go in a straight line. Unless you cancel the boots, but unlike, I believe, what is it? There is a, like, there are Zelda, 2D Zelda games where the boots actually, you know, are controllable. Also, yay, book. Yes, I didn't forget. Also, you can only obtain the state uh, on a on stair. A stair. Yeah. Yeah. I there mean, the state, nice. not, not, not the, st the state itself you well, can, yeah, but, but the, the speed. The, 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 speed yeah. Yeah. the speed you'll get from actually hitting a stair. You can I also set up that same glitch by also, using the hook Nice shot. rod. Nice rod. Nice rod. Wait, so, it was an ice rod cave? What is this? Yes, this this really feels like a not randomized randomizer. Hmm. But hmm. You, you did randomize, right? Hmm. Also, getting hit by crabs, not good. Jeopardy team sound? Crabs are one of the only light world enemies that do two hearts of damage. Don't want to run into them too much. You don't want to. Oh, look, I can swim and I don't have flippers. How did you do that? I mean, I don't have well, flippers and I can swim. Thing called fake flipper, and um, what happens is I jump into the water the same uh, pixel that I actually leave the screen. At that moment, the game is like, oh, you're in the water, you'll probably be able to swim. As soon as we get hit or do anything, the game actually refreshes and does a check again, and then discovers, hey, you're actually not able to swim, therefore you go back to the land. Since it doesn't know where in the land to put you, it's uh, soft depends. Mm, yeah, if you yeah. get hit, you get soft locked. It depends on how you did, because the way I set it up, I jump from the right screen to the left screen, and then I go back to the right screen. And at that moment, it actually knows where to put me. So I'm now doing three pools. Uh, Ross, can you explain three pools? Sure. Um, if Sida kills one enemy, the trees will drop four rupees. Uh, if he kills four enemies and doesn't get hit, the trees will drop a total of 80, 20, 40, 80 rupees. And if he does get hit in between, it will be four, five rupees, so 20 rupees. Yeah. So I'm now waiting for Wiki to actually pick up the glove in Desert Palace. Yeah, meanwhile you do some money for him because you do need some money for the money uh, for money route. Yeah. I so it's not completely wasting time. Actually, this is part of our money routing. Yeah. I mean, we included it. We have backups. Yeah. But we included this as money route. Very smart idea to include that in your money route. Yeah, it's, it's, it's almost like someone smart thought about that. Not us. <laughs> not, not us. No, that's true. Nah, big shout out to Raz for actually, you know, helping, helping out us with, with that. Yeah, helping out with the route. Because we, we are the only people that have, well, there are no other people on the there, leaderboard there is because no, there, there is, is no, no leaderboard. leaderboard. <laughs> uh, funny enough, there have been people that have done uh, NMG. Uh, the any percent NMG. NMG. Yeah. So I can see that Wiki is almost at the glove, so 
I won't bother too much with killing more enemies. No, you shouldn't. I'm very well on money. Yeah, I'm same. There's the glove. I lift up the rock and I go up the mountain. Yes. Oh my god, that's what a glove does. I, oh yeah, wait, I forgot <laughs> you were there. We need to explain that. We need to explain that. So, so yeah, when we play go like uh, randomizers, you can play them in the multi-world setting, which connects like multiple worlds into one big server. Everyone's items are scattered across those. But Killer Chair, who's here as well, uh, never gets a glove. It's just they're always like a couple hours in, and it's like, oh, here's your first glove. Yeah, when you everyone can start else is the game now. close to finishing, yeah. you can start finally playing. So yeah, I'm saving the old man. The old man got lost. I don't know what he was doing in that cave, but you know, the maybe he's so. just an adventurer like us. And he awards us with the mirror, and the mirror is a very useful item. Yep. For sure. And now I'm gonna rush up the mountain and hopefully not get hit by cabbages. It's also pretty unique because I think this is the only Zelda game that has a mirror. Uh, yeah. Maybe in Triforce Heroes, but who played that? Uh, not me. I mean, I did play, but... Okay, at least I got my super speed again. I played that. Nice. Oh, nice. Does it have a mirror? I don't think so. I mean, I not remember. as you, not <laughs> as an item, maybe in like the because that is like the whole dress-up game, right? Or like the outfits decide your bonus. That's it, basically. Okay, so you're gonna see some interesting strats here. Um, whatever your route you take, you never actually have an ice rod during this boss fight. Oh, I missed one. Okay, that's. Oh wow, really? I should have hit. So I take two ice rod hits to kill this. Sad. I missed two. Oh no, I died again. Oh. oh skill yeah. issue again. Skill issue. Oh, this was an actual skill issue. No. Oh, you died? Uh, yeah. Okay. This was a death on purpose it because quick. in this dungeon it can go south real fast. Mm, that's true. And yeah. I was on one heart when I entered, so I figured that dying would dying probably help me out. Yeah. yeah. That, that's fine. That's fine. Yep. Dying to get more health is fine. Don't worry about it. Just call it marathon safety. Nobody right. would know this. Yeah, you have coffee break. I have oh, a coffee I break. Go uh, I'm on the yeah. back, like the, 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 the colored blocks, they can lift and go down again. Uh, depending on uh, the switch, it's now set to that the uh, red blocks will be down, so the blue are up. I'm on one of the blue blocks. The game doesn't really know what to do with me, so it gives me invisibility frames. I can just stand there and make sure I hydrate. Yep. So stay hydrated, everyone. I'm picking up this heart piece and then I will make my way to the pedestal and pick up the master sword. But because I'm not even done with that. Oh boy, that was a bonk. That was a bad bonk. Oh. I mean, you're not done yet, but it still takes me a while, and I do my money right as well, right? Yeah. So. So now here's another use of the mirror, going back to the start of the dungeon. But it does reset the entire dungeon. Yeah. Every enemy That's you would fine. have killed would yeah. normally be dead, but if you but use the mirror, it's back. It also refills the uh, prizes from under the pods. Yes. So that's a good thing. So the mirror really is kind of a weird multi-tool in the game. Like, you can, of course, use it for important things like going from dark to light world. You can use it to teleport back to the start of a dungeon. Or you can use it in non-dungeon sub-worlds to make pushable blocks disappear. Yeah, that's not an intended use, but... Uh, <laughs> it is in, a use. In, it in, is a use. In the Japanese 1.0 version of the game, uh, when a block is moving and use a mirror, it just disappears. Yep. So here I do a three pull, so I reset my enemy counter, and then I need to kill four more enemies to do a red uh, ruby tree pull. And then I, I have enough money for my route. Let's we did go. it! Zeta, let's go! Right. Let's go! It. First try. Woo! Bomb jump. This, yeah, was, this was the thing that hurt you the most during practice. Yep. And now I get a really good fire RNG, apparently. <laughs> Let's go. <sighs> it's time for everyone's favorite boss. Mm. <laughs> no, I'll make sure that I'm full health, because it this is. boss is... Well, this is the first part of RNG we'll see in the run, I guess. Uh, a little bit, yeah. 
Yep, there we go. There we go. Oh, that's okay. a Moldorm. You know that's what? That's Moldorm for ya. You know what? I'll get Moldorm another enemy time. and do the tree pull then. Yeah, that's fine. I can go a slightly quicker to that castle. So you beat Moldorm you by hitting his tail. But since he constantly moves around in random directions, it's, 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 it's weird. It's yeah. annoying. Especially people who play this game casually for the first time hate this boss. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, not only people that and play And people who play random hate this boss. Yeah. Rando hate this boss as and well. And people yeah. that play Master Sword percent hate this boss. Actually, people. everyone hates this boss. People that do, uh... So... No magic oh, glitches. this is your Come on, come on. <sighs> One more hit. Let's go! Let's go! Oh. So, you'll see what happens when... With this, because I pick up the yeah, heart. Yeah, this is this is this is interesting routing as well because you get the pendant, I could immediately, immediately pull up at a soul. Yeah. Yeah. So I get this this victory fanfare. There will be a little bit of text like, "Oh, you can go pull the master sword now." And then before <laughs> that, then when that text is gone, it's like, "Got master sword." Hey, I have a master sword. And writing wise, writing wise, uh, you can immediately pick up the ether, so you don't have to go back to the mountain for that. Yeah. So there's this tablet. Uh, there's two of them in the entire world. This is the ether tablet. We need the book to decipher what it says, but you also need the master sword. You need the master sword to pull it. That's what the, the book basically said. Oh, you need the master sword. Oh. Yeah. And normally in the hunter route, we would get this like at the point we need it, and that's like an extra trip up the mountain, which takes extra time. So it actually is convenient to be able to pick it up yeah. when you get out of Hera, because you're next to it anyway. Yeah, exactly. So whilst Wiki is going to go to the castle and, and, you know, find us a way to the Dark World, uh, I'll be collecting a bunch of heart pieces. Yeah, Zeta is now basically going to do a lot of Light World overall checks. Um, from now on off, until like, you have done three more dungeons? I won't be in a dungeon at no, all. No, you only do two more dungeons. Yeah, so in the entire route, I do two more dungeons. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, yeah. The rest is just picking up, like, a oh, bunch of heart bonk. pieces, other items, like the cape, Gain of Burna. Oh, no, wait, Gain of Burna is you, because that's Spike Gain of Burna is me, because that's, yeah, that's when I go up the mountain and for last time. is another check on the mountain. Uh, not convenient to, to route in at all. No. But, yeah, since Wiki has to go up the mountain anyway for, like, the final two dungeons, yeah, it is, he picks it, is it up better before option. Plus, at that point, we don't have the hook shot yet, because we get that very, very late. So I need to go past that point anyways. Bring uh, the lunch bell for the guards. Yes. All right, here we go. Also, we didn't really talk about it, but in the Tower of Hera, we picked up the Moon Pearl, which allows us to be in normal Link form when we're in the Dark World. It's, yeah. you know. Because the Dark World is a, like, it corrupted is described it, yeah, and no, it's, it's corrupt. Eh? It was the Golden Land. It was the Golden Land because that's where the Triforce is. But uh, Ganon invaded that with his army, and that corrupted the entire thing. Uh, you know, so it's now a cor like a corrupted land, and I don't need this money. Why am I picking this up? <laughs> Rando brain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Rando yeah. brain. I told you we we're playing Rando. Yeah. I mean, you have extra money now. Fine. It's twenty rupees. It's whatever. So that I'll be weird. picking up two heart pieces in the in the village, as well as two bottles and a bugnad. And the bugnad has a special feature in this game, because the boss that Wiki will face soon enough, called Aganim, can only be hit by bouncing bo back like his his energy attacks. And funny enough, uh, you can do that with a bugnad. We don't know why, yeah. but it's funny. Nice, good snipe. I think it might have to do something with like the spinning motion. Yeah, it's, that it's the same spin animation as your sword, so it might share a few. What? Oh, that was poke damage. Okay. Sure. Few properties. Uh, this guy Question. asks if I want to pay a hundred rupees for a bottle. Once? Sure. No. Gonna? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Oh, I'll do this. So we'll way. visit this uh, this kid in his bed. He we refer to him as Sick Kid. He's I mean, bedridden. Yeah, he's bedridden because he's sick. He's actually and sick. And he really, really loves bugs. Therefore, he gives you his bug net. But o only, only if you have a bottle. But only if you have a bottle. Because you need to be able to catch the bugs and keep yeah. them. Yeah. And conveniently, in the building, like right underneath it, there's a bottle in a chest. All right. And on the we going? Stream, it's the time to start counting. Oh. Yeah, we're coming up to the second I mean, yes. bit of RNG, basically. The Besides the bosses. Yeah. Well, this is a boss as well. This right? is a boss, but... 
Yeah. So, um, I'm gonna beat Aghanim soon, or I hope. Uh, and he basically have, has three attacks. One is a thunder attack that's every fifth turn. Uh, the other ones are either regular balls or blue balls. Uh, blue balls you cannot hit back, the other balls you can. The first, uh, hit, uh, the first attack of every cycle is always a ball you can hit. Then it's a 50-50 whatever it is. So this one is always a hit. And now we just trade that the next three are good. That's one. One. Ha ha ha. That's two. two. Okay. okay. So yeah, I am now in a room that's referred to as the Hulahan room. Uh, it is basically a fail-safe room they built into the, the game. But it's also called the Hulahan room because there was this... I think it was a, a... It was a competition, A right? competition thingy in like a Nintendo Power or something and someone... Won and like they promised him... Uh, what was it? Four. Four. Oh god. <laughs> how, many, how many regular hits do you have? Uh, three. Ah, so Four. it's not the infamous Four. 15. It's, it's literally 50-50 at this point. Oh. But yeah, uh, there was a competition, uh, and if he, if so, the, the person that would win said competition would get his name into like uh, the new, uh, a new Nintendo game. And the winner was Chris Huahan, and therefore they put Four. his name into the game. Nice. Four. Four blue balls is about average. Yeah. So three, three is average. Yeah, three, three is average for like average. Moves, whatever. Yo, it's All not right. here yet. It's a dark world. So oh, you need to screen transition. Yeah, I need to screen transition, but it's fine. Okay, that's it's good. So good. I kind of was in the wrong screen rating, but as you can see, the enemies have changed because normally there's like really, really nice enemies there. N not anymore. Also, bye, Wiki. Bye. Thanks see for giving me the portal. See you never again. Well, well, it's a probably at the end. They're on the same screen. Mm -hmm. That's a time we're on the same screen, but you don't see <laughs> we don't see each other. Yeah, so actually I won't stop talking, dude. It's insane. Uh, he's explaining you a lot of stuff now. Yeah. Maybe you should pay attention. Eh, it'll be fine. So, well, whilst Wiki was going for that uh, Master Sword, he also picked up a Mushroom. Mushroom. And everyone that plays Zelda knows that there has to be a witch that turns that Mushroom into something useful. Because who else is gonna do that? So, I actually did that wrong, but never mind. Yeah. Eh. You have the time. I have time. I think you need a little bit... Uh, you wait a little bit on my hammer, right? Yeah. yeah so, yeah. You, have, you have the time. We have time. Oh, look, it's magic powder. <gasps> Who would have thought? Could be useful. Eh. <laughs> we'll see. All right, so one of the reasons I need to pick up rupees is this little monkey here, this little fella. He has 10 rupees, and then he will stay with you for a little bit until you get hit. So don't get hit. No, no, don't get hit. Don't get hit. And then you go on the, you're, you're going to this door, and it's like, oh, I'm the only one who knows who opened it. Pay me 100 rupees. Yeah. And scammer. He's ne he's well. He's not lying. He's actually the only one who knows how to open. It. Yeah, that's true. So that's one part of my rupee route. Look, backwards flying. Let's go. All right. So we're gonna see an interesting, uh, interesting trick here later on. Uh, does anyone know how to explain that? Hammer yump. Hammer yump. Hammer yump. Yeah. Uh, I don't. Uh, basically, um, Wiki will be setting up a bomb jump where um, he has to be on the right pixel vertically and horizontally so he can jump over and clip through the fence uh, that keeps the hammer safe. Uh, otherwise you have to go to a big dark maze and then you have to go back out that dark maze again. That's just, that just takes time. That's not what you want. You need an extra small key and everything. So um, yeah, the jump will just make it easier and it is uh, one of the harder uh, bomb jumps in the game to set up. For sure. Uh, Meanwhile, I'm gonna spend 500 rupees on a pair of flippers. What? It's what? so expensive. Well, you could already swim. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But Doesn't not work really. everywhere. That's the problem. We do yeah. need it. We do need it, which sucks. Sadly, we cannot fake flipper on every place because there's not. But a now we can actually spot this, everywhere. This is actually an example immediately where you can't fake flipper. Yeah. Well, you can. Th technically, uh, that one you yeah. technically can. It's just not allowed. You can set up. That is when you start jump. glitching the game. Yeah. yeah, but I think Swamp Palace is hard required flipper. Yes. Yeah. There's no way to. That is. Uh, I think that's the only. May act. Maybe if you really break the game, but I. Uh, 
So yeah, this is... Um, we didn't even go to that, because uh, there is this thing where we said it's no major okay. glitches. It's also time for the hammer yum, by the way. So oh. I'm focus a little bit. Mm -hmm. Not good. That's not good. So I use pause buffers. Put myself on the right pixel. Uh, throw it out, and then... Then... This should be good. Ah, oh, okay. No worries, I'll do that again. There we go. Second nice. try. Not bad. Yeah, those fences are like weird. <laughs> Yeah. There's a couple more stuff. Oh, nice bomb. A couple more stuff you can do with it. We're sadly not allowed to show that in a run because <laughs> it's a glitch that's not allowed in NMG. But uh, in Rando, it's used very often. Uh, stuff like Icebreaker. Um, there's also this. I don't know what's it called exactly, but in Meyer, the, the railing skip. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I know which one you there's mean. A, there, there's a couple out there. This game is definitely well made and held together by it, duct tape. Yeah, it's don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. That's, that's why it's we fine. play this version. Yeah, yeah. Because it's extra breakable. It's just yeah. some, some extra oh, RNG I'm somewhere at the end of the run, but don't worry about it. Yeah. You're gonna take the extra heart for safety. I mean, heart. fair enough. Yeah. That's right. a bonk. Bonks are slow. Why do I bonk? Uh, and to break those pots there, that's why you saw a little thing called the hammer dash. Yeah. Dashing that's, at the same time yeah, as using a that's hammer. That's a trick that's exclusive to the Japanese 1.0 version. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. Um, so item dashing, that is when you um, when you dash and use the item button on the exact same frame. Uh, and it, uh, I lost my words there. <laughs> uh, yep. For example, if you if you have the hammer equipped uh, and you have a row of packs, you can use that to uh, pack them all down without uh, having to hit the hammer every single time, so it's fast. For people that may have paid close attention to my screen, I already did that, and I'll be doing it again! Uh, I don't have to swap, I have full hearts. And of go. course, the coolest item dash is the shovel dash. Yes, yes it's the, the most useless one, but it's cool. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you just use the shovel oh, everywhere okay. you walk, but you only dig up the spot where you stop. Yeah. Okay. Uh, as Not the was worst. Touching on earlier, this is NMG, so it's no major glitches. Uh, yes. So there are some glitches that are allowed, but a lot of them aren't. Yeah. So the, the glitches that are allowed are things like fake flipper. Uh, saluting the duck. Saluting the duck, of course. All right. See if I can get this. Oh. Ah, okay. Never mind. Okay. Okay. I'll do it the regular way. Right, I tried so. to set up like the spin speed state, and you wouldn't see me move faster. But I would have a hey. little bit more of a hitbox on my hammer. Couldn't get it. No, I can get. I'll yeah. do it the regular way. I tried twice. Yeah. So Helmets are um, has a helmet. You have to break that with either the hammer or bombs. Yeah, and depending on how you tie it as a kid, for some people, just was completely surprised just now with information that you, you can also break it with the other way. Yep. Yep. For me, I always did it with uh, with uh, with bombs because I had no idea you could do it with, uh, with a hammer. Hey, Every crystal's uppies. <laughs> we might at some uh, point I have think, something I think, uppies. I think we don't have them, but we'll see. We'll see. Depends on how well we play. Yeah. So I have a little bit of text so we can watch Zeta's screen now because um, I'm not doing anything. So how's everyone doing? Good. Well, since, you know, you have nothing to do and I don't have much to tell us about, maybe our host has something to say? Yeah, maybe Zelda has something to say for us. I do have something to say indeed. For those of you just joining in, we are the Benelux Speedrunner Gathering, a dedicated organization focused on hosting marathons within the Benelux, re Benelux region. Currently, we are excited to be live-streaming our annual event from host Hotel Asteria Venrai in the Netherlands. 
Uh, let's see here. You can stay up to date with our events by following us on Twitter and Instagram under the handle BSG Marathon. Get a behind-the-scenes look of the event and stay up to date with the latest news on our marathons, events, and more. We are also in the process of uploading all of our vaults to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash BSG Marathon. Be sure to check it out. All right, so because Zidia did the overworld road, I have a flute when I come out of uh, Palace of Darkness, so I can go quickly to the next dungeon, which is Thieves Town. And Thieves Town is one of the more straightforward dungeons. There's not a lot that happens. Uh, the only thing that I uh, that I wonder for is if I can get the boss on script or not. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. Yeah. Meanwhile, I've picked up the, the cape. Which gives you, like, it's the invisibility cloak from Harry Potter, I'd I say. I mean, you, you like the cape. I love the cape. I still think it's one of the best items in the game. Hmm. Eh. It makes Ganon easy. You're, eh. eh? You're not wrong. It makes Ganon very easy. Oh, but that's why I like it. But the cape is also useful for uh, certain other things. And I mean, I have to use it, so... Yeah, you have to use it at some point in the run. Yeah, I do have to use it. Well, I have to use it as well. It's, it's for the dumbest reason, but I have to use it, yeah. It uh, also has to use it for an item Ray, that's Yeah, you're going to use it actually right now. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. So as a kid, I always thought you needed a hookshot for this. But apparently there's a little ledge you can just walk on. And those bumpers you can't pass by unless you have the cape. Because you're then just... You vanished into thin air. Oh. Yeah, and as you saw, see that just do if you like disable the cape while you're still on the bumper, you get pushed out. Makes you go slightly faster. Don't worry about this. This is a perfectly normal tree. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yep. No. Nothing wrong. Nothing wrong. It is because of the uh, the emulator we use for the for the co-op part. For some reason, it hmm, messes up that. those sprites. I don't know why, but. It just does. Oh, we I accepted it as it is. Actually, I'm going to use the cape another time. Oh. It makes it... Oh, I actually am on the godfix hole. Let's go. Oh, that's nice. That actually makes that room way faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So by now I've picked up a bunch oh. of hard pieces and I'm going to actually... Oh. So just to explain what I mean with god pixel, there is one pixel uh on that uh in that room that if you're on that and you dash upwards you don't hit the spikes on the sides there's only one uh yeah there's only one pixel for that rng still has to be in your favor to not get hit for the for the enemies yeah so, but when it happens it's uh i'll take great. the extra bombs here uh well. i picked it up too early there's also a little bit of a bomb rub because there are uh, a couple of places that we need a bomb so i need to check uh, i need to keep in uh, keep my bomb road in check as well there's a red boomerang by the way yep red boomerang so if you would have picked up the blue boomerang this chest would have had 300 rupees which i mean we like money but i like a red boomerang as well i mean we do we like it meh do no, we need we it don't. for well, for hundo yes, yes. also i need to wait for wiki to pick up a glove like uh, the glove upgrade yeah I, you, you're playing out of your mind holy I'm sensing a pattern with the gloves. <laughs> Always yeah, the same. you do. Yeah. Waiting for gloves. Waiting That's for what gloves. KC does. I should be playing, honestly, on that side. <laughs> Wanna take over? Go ahead! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Smokey. Yeah, as soon as I get the, the, the new glove, we'll be able to pick up these darker colored rocks. They are apparently way heavier than the other ones, and the new gloves are made to pick them up. And there you go. <laughs> And we'll take this frog guy home. And do, you, do you know where he lives, though? Yeah, I do. Oh, hey. wow. Really? Because he, he uh, talked Japanese to you? Yeah. He spoke in Japanese. Can't you read it? No. Oh. Oh. Uh, he, 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 he's secretly a blacksmith. Oh. <gasps> no way. And as Wiki said, we can use item dashes to go to, like... All right. Go all, all the pegs go down. So, KC... Can you explain about the script or Ross? Yeah, you probably. Yeah, so, um, Blind is on a set script that it follows uh, during its fight. And if uh, Wiki can stay on the script with attacks, it's a very free uh, fight, but the moment you're off script, it becomes weird. Got it. You're standing in the Hall of Fame. Script. I'm standing in the Hall of Fame, yeah. Nice. Well done. Fully on script. 
But yeah, up is. Blind is also one of the of the bosses that always will take nine damage. Also, you might see Wiki without a sword. So uh, I don't think so. I still. I believe last time that happened, I still had the master sword because it's shared. The same yeah. as the mushroom, like if you turn it in, we both immediately get the mushroom. That's also a thing with this, um, um, with this uh, co-op mode. Uh, so if you turn in the mushroom, you keep it because one of them still have the, uh, have the, has the mushroom in the inventory, so the other immediately regains it. Yeah. And I think with the sword it's kind of the same? Yeah, you don't have a sword now, though. I absolutely don't have a sword. Huh. I still have the master sword. I, I have a sword. And I have tempered. Let's go. Yeah. All right. So oh. I'm just going to continue my NMG route and I'm going to go to Skullwoods. Well, you do more. How many more overworld do you Not do before, that many. before you I'm go? I'm now going to drop into what we call Magic Bat. Yes. And remember that I picked up the Magic Powder like five minutes, ten minutes ago? Yeah, sort of like we'll that. use it here. And this bat is actually going to be like, ha ha, what have you done, you fool? I'm going to curse you. You'll use twice as much magic. And oh then, no, all the magic you need to carry now. And now he actually gave us half magic. So instead of making us use twice as much magic, he gave us twice as much magic. So I don't know who the fool is here, but I this think it's a not us. Really clean room. Um, yeah, you may wonder what's that chest behind you. Don't worry about it. It is a lock chest that can only be opened by a specialist. Luckily, I know a specialist. I think he... How do you know he's a specialist? He doesn't talk. Uh, he doesn't know a guy. I just, yeah. I just, knows, I just oh, know you, a guy. You are familiar in that world, I see. Yeah. yeah. And that chest, like, lets go once you start running. Yes. So that's why there's no okay. sprinting going on while you're carrying uh. it. Yes, okay, good. I got this first try as well. And onwards to the misery mire we go. Yes, you. so you're actually going to now do dungeon. Yes, and this is, I would say this is one of the hardest dungeons. Yeah. yeah. By far. It's also, like, really maze-like. And funny enough, uh, there is a, I believe, a guidebook that came out, like, really early. And that refers to this place as the misery maze. Because the dungeon would be the misery maze, and the area itself is the mire area. And I can see why they would call it a maze. Because you'll get lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, like, I, I do want to remind you guys, at the end of the run, before we drop into Ganon, you can donate for the bit war between yep. are we going to finish this as friends or as enemies? Yeah, please make them finish as friends, because i got to share a room with these guys. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like in the middle. That's actually true. That is actually yeah, true. You're, you, for me, please bid on friends. <laughs> so I, I actually bonked against the block there to cross that gap. Um, that is the that is like an Nintendo thing. It's actually developer intended to be able to bonk there. All right. So upcoming here, room? upcoming here on my screen is Moth. And Moth is kind of interesting. So it has 24 HP. Uh, every time you hit it with a fire rod shot, it's, uh, it drains 4 HP. With a tempered or hammer, it's 6. But once you put it in the spike, it only takes half or it one. It doesn't even take it damage. It takes no the, damage It from takes spike. no damage at all. Nope. But luckily, he's not in a room full of spikes. Yeah. So if you hit him against the spike, you can keep hitting him over and over and over again. Uppies, by the way. <laughs> you can hit him over and over and over again, and it just don't doesn't want to die. That's basically the moth. Yeah. And um, in the vanilla yeah. game, if you somehow would get oh, yeah. Gold Sword, it would deal no damage. Because the developers made the spikes deal the same amount of damage as the Gold Sword. Which, yeah, kind of is bad. Yeah. The game wasn't taken uh, into account that you could have the Gold Sword before going there. So it doesn't do any damage, so don't do that. Yeah, because you need to finish that dungeon to get the Gold Sword. You don't. No, technically no. Yeah, technically. Well, you don't have to. F no, the only two dungeons oh, yeah. you need to get don't have to, to finish, finish are Ice Palace and Misery Mire, and um, you can actually do that without finishing Skull Wiz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like not anything someone would but do, but like I think last year or two years ago, my dad was playing the game, and he had all the dungeon items, but no, not a single dungeon completed. So. 
There are people who do that. Is that like the Professor Oak challenge with Zelda? I guess. <laughs> But Just uh, get everything and then do yeah. progression stuff. It's that shaking screen on um, Tira's uh, side was the longest cutscene in the entire game. Yeah, yeah. That's Luckily, true. it's over. But uh, you know what's not over? Donations. 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 Donations indeed. I have three euros from Dunty123 oh. saying sorry, not sorry, Russ. And it looks like that one is going to the enemy <laughs> side of the bit war. Well, well, of course it is. I guess Duncan is choosing violence. SM8 yeah. my head. <laughs> 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 All right, so you're in Mire now. I'm in Ice yeah. now. Ice, probably one of the most confusing dungeons. Together oh. with Mire as well. Yep. But Both Ice has really a really -like. specific puzzle that is so weird that the developers decided if for the GBA version to change it up. What version? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no clue what you're talking about. <laughs> Wait, huh? What? Yeah, I don't know. Is hey. that like a fan game? I guess it is. Yeah. Hey, I'm just gonna say this. I like the GBA version. Okay, so donate to enemies. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, enemies is fine. It has some <laughs> added stuff that's actually really cool. I see another donation. There we go. Go ahead, Zelda. You are correct. I have three euros from Lighten. Eh, saying again. instructions oh, no. unclear. Donate it more for enemies. Yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> well, Zita, it was yep. nice knowing you. Yeah, it was nice knowing you. You're dead to me. Wow. <laughs> not, not yet. Not oh, yet. Not yet. Oh, wait, wait, you're not dead to me. Uh, I still need to get you some items. Yeah. Yeah. The incense is still open. I need open. to get you some items as well, by the way. Yeah, true. Uh, mm. Okay. Yeah, Wiki is doing the Ice Palace bomb jump. Uh, and it's if he aligns in a certain way, he'll get blasted over the gap. There's also another thing wow. he can do, but... Yeah, I don't know if I'm capable of doing that. Uh, there we go. This should be the correct pixel. There we go. Only six tries, something like that. Uh. That bomb jump skips about half the dungeon. It also skips yeah. the puzzle, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. it's no, no more need for the boss key if you... Because you don't need the blue armor, uh, even nope. in this version, because you only need the final version of upgraded I items. I'm yeah. still a little bit low on health. So... Eh, no simultaneous yuppies, I think. I don't think so, no. So another useful use of the cape is for the, f the following boss fight. This is Vitreus. He has a crap ton of eyeballs. Uh, they're annoying. I'm gonna use my cape to be invincible and just dash through all of them at the same time. Just because I'm a little scared, I'm gonna take the safety here. I'm not proud of it, but... And then I'll finally use my bow! What did you just do with I didn't see any. No, exactly. So, with the powder, you can, you can actually use the powder on anti-fairies? Yeah, or, or, or bubbles. They're yeah, they're called bubbles in this game. And that turns them into a fairy. A so, piece. Uppies, no simultaneous uppies. Sag. I'll give you the uppies. All right. So you need to use eight fire shots on Cold Stair. Okay, that's looking good. Corner him. Cool. Uh, that's fine. Oh. There you go. High skill. Not too bad. Huh? Not too bad. Could have been worse. I'm glad I took the, the safety. Yeah, I would have died. Oh boy, that you would have remember? been bad. You see a, a piece, by the way. A More piece. A piece. A piece. More piece. You see, you see me having the blue mill, but that's only the color we put in there. Yeah. In the um, in the in the emulator, but I'm still on green mill, so I take still take four hearts of damage on this boss. So we now have the two important crystals. So I could technically go and get a sword upgrade and like an arrow upgrade. Spe oh. Speaking of getting something, I Ooh. see we got a donation. Oh. A, con a donation, indeed. I have 35 euros from Kayon Crayon Crayoff Yo. saying making things a little more interesting by balancing the books less than three. Okay, ah. you're alive to me again. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> thank you very much for that donation. Yeah, thank you very Thanks, much. Thanks, Crayon. I think Ross is happy about I'm this. I'm happy. <laughs> yeah. There's peace in the bedroom tonight. Uh. <laughs> Maybe. Right. Tida, you need to use the flute and get out of here. Yeah, so Tida, use the flute. Okay, I will use the flute. Thanks for the advice. Yeah, use the flute. Uh, so I think there's only two more. Well, three if you count Gen's Tower. 
three more dungeons. Um, I'm gonna go up the mountain and I need to use my cape here, which is... Eh. Money now, money later. Money later, I guess. How much money do you have? 159. So it is enough for the bomb. Uh, get the money. Nah, I'll get it later. I'll get C shaped. <laughs> yeah, I'll get sure? C shaped. Oh, you get C shaped. That's fine. Yeah, that's still like. No, that's, that's better. That's better. You're right. Uh, Back ups. Yeah, there we go. So the four bushes I slashed, all of them have a chance to spawn a hard or a fairy. And this so, is where I use the cape. And it's, to be fair, I think this is the dumbest thing. This, yeah. They could have done this way way different. Yeah, you need to get an invincibility item to pick up another invincibility item. Yeah. 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 Like, why? So if they can burn out. The only difference is that the came Verna, instead of making you invisible, it, um, it creates like a force. I forgot to buy the potion. Whoopsie. Oh, that's fine. I'll, I'll don't buy the potion then. I'll... I know how, how I'm gonna do this. I'll take the backup in, um... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take the backup in, in Super Bunny, it's fine. What they're talking about is a magic... Yeah, or, he uh, needs magic. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I need magic to open the next dungeon. Similar to how Zeta had to open Misery Miner before. Yeah, you need to use one of the medallions. There's three medallions in total. I just picked up the last one, because... That's Bombos, it's the only one that's, act like, really offensively usable. Um, huh. uh, but, well, Aether is as well, but only against undead enemies. Um, uh, and then... Uh, are we on... Are we good on heart pieces? We are good on heart pieces. We should be, yeah. I don't think I skipped any. Neither did I. Also, I mean, you picked up, wow. like, four. Yeah, I only pick up six in this run. He does the other 18. Then again, you pick up all the hard containers because they are yeah. from bosses. True. What? The swamp small? Oh, I In have to do this twice that now. That first chest right. of okay, swamp. Well, this randomizer is getting weirder by the minute. Got yeah, to turn on right. sanity. I have to do this again, but it's fine. Yeah. So initially, we routed in that I would buy the green potion, so I would have the magic. I don't know why I opened... Well, I need to open that anyways later, so... But I do know that in this uh, in this little cave here, there's a pot, and that always contains a, a full magic refill. Yeah. So that's a nice backup. It might even also, be a little slower. Let's delete or... the stones. I did the Very same. Well. Yay. Yay. We can show that off. That's yeah. nice. So I'm in swamp. Swamp is like. Uh, I need to get my mirror anyway because I need to go back. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a minor time. Well, minor. It's, it's a time loss. But. Yeah, but I mean, I'm in Swamp Palace. Swamp Palace is, to me, is like one of the most more boring dungeons, honestly. Eh, makes sense. It's, it's, it is not linear, but it's weird. It's just a weird uh, dungeon because you have to go like all the way to the left in the dungeon to get the biggie to get your hook shot. Item dash, please. So yeah, as soon as I finish this dungeon, I'm gonna actually buy the big bomb. Open, like, blow a hole in the pyramid. Get our final upgraded sword and arrows. And after that, the fun part of the run begins. <laughs> so if you haven't fun. been enjoying this, wait until, like, ten minutes from now. It'll be way more fun. I really hope you enjoy chest being opened. I mean, I kind of do. And digging. I love digging, man. Oh, yeah, you don't <laughs> have the, mm -hmm. I, I forgot you don't have the hook shot yet. Oh, not yet. No, not yet. So I'm working on that. Usually in NMG, uh, you go up, you let the torch and then the hook shot to the torch. Uh, but yeah, I can do that. I don't have a hook shot. So okay. I need to take the, the longer road, basically. Because if you hook shot to the torch, you drop down and then uh, you get reset at the start of the boom. Yeah. Yeah. Which I cannot do. What I can do is Berna Dash. So I can show off what Berna does. So this is what Berna does. It makes you invincible and it has a projectile around you. And that projectile uh, actually does damage to uh, enemies. Not to this crystal, crystal Wars, but to enemies. So. And I'll take another magic refill there. And we'll have a hook shot soon. Yeah, I don't need it anymore. Well, eh. Eh. 
If you're playing vanilla and you're kind of struggling with blind, for instance, uh, that's one of the bosses that is can take damage from burnout. Yeah. Yep. Burnout strats is a thing for for blind. And speaking of safety, uh, items used for safety, you could also use the hookshot to negate damage. Yeah, hookshot, when you when you have the hookshot in use, it creates iframes. Yeah. Uh, so you don't take damage if you if you are using the hookshot and an enemy hits you, you don't take damage. So how are we doing on friends versus enemies? Is is friends still in the lead? Um, Friends is currently in the lead by just a few cents, actually. Oh, wow. So that's close. All right. Oh, well, we don't have that much time anymore. So oh. if you want to change that, you need to hurry up. To be very specific, Friends is currently in the lead with 50 euros. And Enemies is in second place with 49 euros and 33 cents. Mm. Oh, man. Oh, wow. That is really close. That is close, yeah. So yeah, um, the incentive will close right before we drop into the hole to beat Ganon. Yeah. As... Uh, no one saw that. So what? So what? Good. I was having a drink and didn't see that thing. Good. Same. Yeah. I'm just playing a game. Oh, nice. Which one? Uh... I thought it was, I think it is a randomizer. Yeah, is it? No. Oh, cool. But, uh, I like, at least I like it's, those. it's like the best yeah. Zelda game ever made. Mm. Wow. Yeah, I, I, or I Swords and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie, that game is really underrated because it's actually cool to play multiplayer on that one. Maybe one day you do that. It is a really cool game. Hey, is that the one you can actually play with four people? Yeah. Yes. Hey, we got four people right here. Hey. hey, so... I mean, do you... Well, okay, let's specify. Is it four swords or four swords adventure? There's a difference. Adventure is the one on the GameCube, right? Yes, yes. adventure. Uh, it's a lot easier to play that one. With four. Okay. I mean, uppies! Oh, uppies! uppies. I'll hold it with one hand, because I need to mash. Yeah, and I need to play. So there's the mirror shield, which is good. Our final shield upgrade. Yay. Oh, I'm not going to make that. So I am done with all my dungeons. I'm close to being done. Do you have anything left to pick up? I don't think so. Right? Uh, hard pieces. Heart pieces, yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, heal island heart piece, a bottle from the guy from underneath Hobo. the bridge, yeah. and then the silver arrows and the gold sword. And after that, Good it room. is part of the RNG fast. Yes. Mm. And oh. you'll notice why we left it for that. But Uppies. later on, there, Uppies. a little huh? more. Because I see that there's a donation. Oh. A donation indeed. I have 10 euros from Sunskill. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> he chose war. He's saying war? 10 more real money donation for enemies. Wiki, please win and take revenge for Fortune Street. <laughs> <laughs> which does pull enemies back in the lead. <laughs> so before the run, we played a, uh, a, a board of Fortune Street. And see the one. By... He uh, ever uh, so slightly landslide. I think you had more than the three of us combined. Nah, in the end, uh, not anymore, but that was maybe because someone was actually throwing the game. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Alright, I'm coming up on Trinex. Considered one of the harder bosses in the game. Did you know yeah. Trinex has three necks? What? Yeah. What? Wild. Crazy. No way. No way. Uh, is it really? Yeah. Is it is that why his name is Rhinex? I don't know. Oh, oh, he does. Mm. Damn. Oh, no. Oh, no, wait, wait. Yeah, oh that's, ah. I'm only seeing oh, I'm only seeing two necks, honestly. Uh, uh oh. Third one's just Kinda ahead. Hard. That's true. That was weird. Oh, really? Okay. So oh. this man under the bridge, he gives us our oh, final bottle. For neck. That should be enough, right? Okay. This is a terrible fight. The ice makes it even weirder. Okay. Yep. I'm gonna wait a little bit. Come on, that should have hit. Wow. Uh, collision is off. What? 
All right, there we go. Okay. Oh, according to plan, it's RNG manip for the digging game. Yeah, yeah. it doesn't yeah. work that yeah. way, but it's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. All right, we're gonna get, get ready for uppies again. And uppies! It's technically a red crystal. No, 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 it's an actual it? normal one. Normal one. <laughs> Was it? Yeah. That could yes. be not a red crystal. It's, it's five and six, so it's Meyer and Ice. Ice? Yes. Misery, Meyer and oh. Ice Palace are the red Wow, crystals. I mixed that shit up. I mean, how <laughs> could you have dragged a bomb without me picking it up? Ah. I mean, <laughs> eh. Maybe so randomized. you need two special crystals. I do play too many randomizers. Yes, 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 yeah. for sure. yes you do. <laughs> yeah, so just to, just to explain, um, you can only pick up the red bomb if you have the red crit. They call it red crystal. I don't think it's officially red crystals no. in the game. No. But the check mark for that is uh, Misery, uh, Ice Palace and Misery Mire. You need to have beaten those two dungeons to actually be able to obtain the oh big no, bomb. Oh no, I dropped my sword in. What? Oh, what are you doing? Uh, it was dirty. I had to clean it. Wiki still has uh, his. Yeah, that, so. that's my sword. I can I get it back, please? Oh, I still have mine. No, no worries. Oh, hey, Sorry. look. I still have mine. Oh. Oh, oh cool. Your it's stage color. Now. It's not golden. Oh, Chinese. Nice. Kind of looks like butter. Yeah, kind of looks like it butter. Kind of looks like butter. But is it butter? Mm. Can't believe it's not butter. I can't believe it's not butter. So I'm going to pick up oh, my... Oh, now I dropped my, arrow, my, my, my bow and arrow in there. See that? Yeah, they were dirty. Be more careful. <laughs> yeah, but they're dirty. I have to clean them. Maybe she has yeah, a spare. You have to clean them, not yeah. the fairy. I dropped it in the water. I was gonna pick it up again, but apparently she brought it back. And now we have silver arrows. You got the wrong one back. Yeah, I don't know. Mm. If she gave you another one, eh? what a ripoff. Might be plastic. Right. We, we'll have to test that against like an enemy at some point. Yeah. So, are we gonna explain about uh, counting in GT? I mean, that's more of a rando thing. <laughs> We're playing rando, right? Oh, right. I have 21 <laughs> chests in uh, Ganon's Tower that can be the big key. 22. 22 even. The uh, post number between 1 and 22 20? in chat. Yeah, 22. Because there's 23 the big key is gonna be. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's 22. 22 is always tough. Also, for those at home, our host oh, yeah. and it's our time. commentator, so it is time. So, oh, can one of you time. briefly explain? Oh, I shouldn't. Okay, can one of you briefly explain um, this part of the run? So, um, what Cedar is about to do is two mini games in this uh, in this game. One of them is digging game, and the other is chess game. There is a lot of RNG involved in these uh, games, and this is why nobody likes to run 100%. Um, basically. The, in the chess game, the first one is never going to be the heart container and the second one is supposed to have a higher chance if you get a heart in the first one. However, we got one, one way. in one. chess game. However, uh, this version of the game is kind of broken and the chances are even lower to get the... Uh, that's two. Two. To get the uh, heart container. Well, Wiki, you're not going to donate 50 bucks. Nope. So... We had, I had, I, I, I well, I, I, three. I bad or something, I don't know. But I just said, if we get both first try, I would donate 50 euros, because that's just so unlikely. Not that I don't want to donate money to charity, but, uh, no, we have a different rule for this. And, and we, we're going to donate a certain amount of money for every, uh, Yeah, we'll see how much it is. Because we have a few numbers in mind, depending on no. how much it will be. Yeah. I mean, Speaking of money, I'm getting a and trap five. Dog. That's five. Uh oh. I mean, I, 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 you have time. You I have, have time. time. I still need to do like a five minute climb or something like that. So yeah, but I also fine. need to start digging. Yeah. Yeah. Because after this, there's another game that had six <laughs> that has possibly even worse RNG. Yeah. Where uh, for the first 20 digs, you cannot get the heart container. First 28 digs. First 28 even. digs. Yeah, 28. And every dig after uh, seven uh there's a how what's the chances for the heart container dropping in the digs one after one in 32 i believe yeah one yeah. in 32 it should be and you have time for about 30 digs hey oh, let's go hey. so that's on eight eight uh, it's not bad that's i i guess that's about average we should switch I more technically then. oh i missed that technically yes because i think it should be a one in eight chance yeah so, so now, yes. onwards to the one that's even longer. 
Now, when I was watching practice, um, Wiki ended up joining Zeta for the digging game. <laughs> yeah. That's a thing that is possible. To be fair, Zeta has improved a lot. He's been playing really good. Well, let's see if, uh, if RNG is on usually, our... usually, I was already climbing when you started even both of the games, I think. Yeah. This is the red mill. You don't see it because I'm blue, but we have the red mill, which is obligatory for 100%. Oh. And I'm going to do the climb. So this is basically your final calls. If you want to change the outcome, please do. From friends or enemies, this is your time now to snipe. Please, I would like to sleep tonight. <laughs> That's one. Oh, first try. And the worst part is, for this one, I need to leave the screen to be able to play it again. Yep. So, as soon as Wiki has to join me on this, we both have to leave the screen. Yeah, so basically, if um, if you're both on the same screen, the world will uh, be in the same state. So, if you did some digs, um, it will also be dug out for the other player. So, you both need to leave the screen f uh, fully before it resets. Uh, Let's go! Oh, wow. Yeah, man. Wow. Is that second try? That's second that's try. Second Ooh, try. That's really good. That Tita. is actually good. So Tita, are you what gonna are you help gonna me do get now? a star now? Or? Uh, oh yeah, wait. I need to wait until the timer is over, else I can't use my mirror. Yes. Because uh, at the early game we could have done this, but you know. Oh, that board went away fast. Yeah. yeah. Seven seconds. Nice. Let's go. Let's, Let's go. I think the best you did, right? Yeah. You're Normally I'm on like eight. Again, you're playing out of your mind today. Uh, apparently. So far for being nervous. Now you have to wait for me. Yeah, now I actually have to wait for a wiki. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, okay, well. I'm lost. Hi, lost. Hi, lost. Oh my god. Really? Okay. Sure. So Wiki is doing now doing one of the lead fights, which is going to be a lot easier because he has better weapons. Yeah. It should. Basically, in, in the entire Ganon style, you get a lead fight yeah. for all three of the first bosses. And let's yeah. make sure so we're actually on 100%. Yeah. So we've collected every final upgrade in our menu screen. We have the Golden Sword, we have the... Mirror shield, we have the red mail. Do we have four bottles? We have... Do we have four bottles? We actually have four bottles. Yeah, that screen is not good. Yeah, so we have four bottles, we have 20 hearts. So we are, for what the rule set considers, 100%, we are done. People might be like, but wait, I remember that I could drop money into like a fountain and get more bombs and more arrows. Correct? That's a different category. Speaking about uh, dropping money somewhere, I think our host has something to say. Yes, I do. I have nine euros and thirty-three cents from Crayon Crayoff, <laughs> saying perfectly balanced as all things should be, which makes our bid war <laughs> exactly tied. Oh boy! Oh. However, I did notice that we are very, very, very close to five k in total donations. So if you guys want to do like a very last minute snipe, please get your donations okay. in right now. Come on, okay. what's happening? Yeah. Please. Okay. Yeah, I, you really can bad. at least heal. Yeah, this is my heal. It's So yeah, you have about, I'd say, a minute or two. Yeah, sort of like that. Depending on how Geometry Wizard goes. Yeah. But uh, yeah, get those donations in and uh, and yeah, see what our fate will be. And I hear someone laughing already, so. Oh, no. <laughs> I have 25 euros from Crayon Crayon. <laughs> 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 Saying, however, there can only be one. And it's going to enemies. Oh! Oh! <laughs> and they also have an extra 20 euro from Suns. So it's also going to enemies. <laughs> yeah! Oh, so enemies is in leave for like 50. Ras, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry already. I, I'll just... Crayon Crayon being Put the double spy here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's the betrayer. He, yeah. Of we himself. are also 85 euros away from the 5k. Oh, let's somebody, do it. Somebody let's donate. Do it. Let's 80. do it. Let's do it. 85 towards friends, please. <laughs> <laughs> do it before the end of the run. It's double. That's, that's a double hit. Yeah, yeah that's that fine. Okay. 
Okay. So there's a reason I'm on this screen and not on the actual nice. pyramid. Yeah. Um, that was... The co-op, like... This is good. Uh, as before, I was waiting for Wiki and then... You know, okay. the, the world state didn't change properly. The same will happen with the... With, like, the pyramid of the... Uh, what is this setup? <laughs> I don't know. What okay, are you okay. doing? Okay, that's fine. Wiki, please. <laughs> Wiki. Don't mind me. <laughs> I'm just trash. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. He's supposed to be the better runner of the two of us. Yo. Wiggy's <laughs> well, just making more time for donations. Yes. That's good. Stop <laughs> stalling. <laughs> hey, look, you're almost. Oh, uh, this is man, perfect. I, I have more so health bad. than you. I'll win that fight easily. We'll see. Challenge accepted, I guess. Challenge accepted. Un unless people are gonna snipe it. Be quick, Question because we're mark. about to drop. <laughs> I Be have really another, quick. <laughs> I have five years from Satanic Nerd saying, fight, 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 <laughs> fight. Oh. Are ready? Uh, no. Oh, I'll, I'll wait for you. Snipe, yeah. snipe, snipe, right. snipe, snipe, snipe. Ready? Let's go. Let's go. You'll right. see two different strats. Yeah, you'll see diff two different strats on the Ganon fight here. Uh, Zito's gonna use cave strats, I'm gonna use dash strats. Oh, what? How did you hit me? Wait, what? Did you turn on... Whoa, 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 No, whoa, no, no, whoa, no. Whoa. You hit me! You... What? Didn't, didn't we turn off PvP? <laughs> okay, this is gonna be an interesting <laughs> one. <laughs> there can only be one! Fight! 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 Uh, fight! Fight! <laughs> fight! <laughs> Yeah, am I getting fighting? Oh, uh, my screen turned blank on my end. Oh, oh boy. Uh -oh. Oh, it's go. back. It's back. It's back. It's back. You hit me again. You, you. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I guess that was always meant out. to be Get violence. <laughs> We're just messing up the, the Ganon fight here. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I am having warps anyway. <laughs> yeah, fair. I'm almost dead. Stop. Stop. <laughs> At least let me beat the ping, okay? <laughs> I guess we forgot to turn it off. Yeah, I guess we did. <laughs> uh, whoops. Oh boy, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, so no, no door glitch on my end. I should have Torch Ledge, I guess. Oh, or you just missed the, the pig in, in general. That's a triple. Ow! Yeah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> That's what you get for getting it away, my dude. <laughs> well, All that right. was the revenge for Fortune Street. Uh, yes. Pig is down. <laughs> and now the worst comp part comes you know, the worst part is, because I still have to beat the pig and he can actually hurt me whilst I'm doing it. So what happens if Wiki drops when the gate is open? Want to find out? I know. Because I know what happens. <laughs> Do you know what happens? I should be safe here. <laughs> I'm just going to not interfere with the fight. I mean, I can shoot arrows. Uh, what's your magic, by the way? I know. Okay. It'd be fine. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> it's very weird for me because on my game end, I don't hear any music because I finished Ganon, but I do hear all your hits and slashes. <laughs> And the warps. Alright. It's so funny because we have never done the Ganon fight with PvP on. Okay, good. Nice. Okay. Cool, close. What you uh, did there is he lit the first torch before the second one uh, went right, out. Fine. That means the second one never goes out. Fight. Yeah, that's. Torch glitch, basically. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not being, not able to see where he goes is wonky. Okay. 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 You remember? We're gonna stand back to back. 
Yeah. Back to back. Oh, wait, you need to wait. <laughs> I, I don't want to do that, Bob. You still have to go to Okay, back to back. We take two, three steps, we turn around, and then we fight. Both of them low on health okay. as well. Okay. Okay, you ready? Yes. Three, two, one, fight! And there will only be one. All right, and it's time! time. Oh, that was good. We <laughs> had no idea that was no, still activated. We, we forgot. Uh, we I tested mean, that and then we never turned it off. <laughs> I could have seen it when I showed this because it says enable PvP. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it made up for a really good and yeah, interesting that was like really boss fight. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah, I hope everyone enjoyed this. I hope so too. Uh, any shout outs you want to make? Uh, well, shout outs to the coach. Hello. Give it up Hi. for the coach. Yeah. Give it up for our two commentators. Thank you, thank you guys for joining us. Yeah, of I mean, course. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, um, shout well, out, yeah. Shout, shout out to, out you as to well. <laughs> And then I want to know what was our total count? Because. Oh yeah. We, yeah. Yep. So. So we had it's ten, ten, right? Ten in total. So ten shall total. we just do fifty cents yeah, for each ten? Yeah, fifty cents. Then? So, so it's five, five, euro. five euros each. So we're gonna donate ten euros. Yeah. For now. And then uh, I think that's it for that's us. That's it for us. Uh, so yeah, keep donating to Mind. Yeah, it's for a sure. really good cause, and then uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of the marathon. Well, let's get that 5k. Yeah, let's, let's get, let's get, get that 5k. 5K. Uh, I want to see it before the next run starts. Yes. Yes. Oh. 100. And that's Gunstar, right? It's Gunstar Reborn is next. Gunstar okay. Reborn, exactly. Well, up From to you, fire Zelda. Reborn. <laughs> that fire Reborn. <laughs> Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah. Almost to 5k in the with 80 euros left on the timer. Well, not the timer. <laughs> <laughs> the number. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, coming up next we have Gunfire Reborn by Cyrix and Dumpy, so don't go anywhere. <laughs> 